All right, you guys ready for a little wrist stretch? Probably good after the arm balance flow. Or if you're sitting at a desk a lot or doing any kind of repetitive motion, um, wrists can get really tight. We always forget, I think, that our body's completely connected. So tight shoulders or neck can lead to wrist issues. So we'll get into our shoulders and stuff too. So just in a comfortable seat, however it feels good for you. Close your eyes nice and tall with your spine. Try and relax your shoulders away from your ears. And find your steady, full breath in and out of your nose. See if you can send your breath into some part of your body that's feeling tight. So maybe it is your wrists or your shoulders or your neck today. Maybe it's something else, somewhere else. Let your eyes gently blink open. On your next inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, interlace your fingers and press your palms up. Take a big breath in, slightly lean back. Exhale, hands forward, chin toward your chest and the space between your shoulders behind you. So it's almost like you're rounding. Yeah, inhale, think of a cow pose. Lift your hands, slight back bend, lift your heart. Exhale, hands forward, chin to chest. Nice, one more time. Reach both arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands down by your sides. Let your right shoulder or right ear drop to your right shoulder and you can use your right hand to guide your head a little bit further if that feels good. And then I like to crawl my left fingertips out a little bit more to the left. And a little bit more of a stretch through the side of your neck. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Nice, and then back to neutral. Right hand can drop. Left ear toward left shoulder. If it feels good, without forcing anything, left hand can come across. And maybe even crawl your right fingertips out a little bit further to the side. Deep, full breaths. And release. Back to neutral. Hands can be by your sides or in your lap. Tuck your chin into your chest. And take little movement side to side. One direction and then the other. If there's a spot that's really tight, you can hold it there. And slowly come back toward a neutral spine. Lift your chin. Reach your arms out wide to the side like you're going to give your neighbor a really strong high five. Oh, you guys might even touch back there. <laughs> Flex your fingers up and then down, and then kind of move like that at your own pace. You can even roll your wrists in both directions. Sweet, bring your arms out in front, and with one hand, doesn't matter which, gently flex your fingertips back. Yeah, and then switch hands. Nice, and then find some fists, we don't do this a lot in yoga, and flex your fists down. Bring them to your lap and see if you can kind of roll. So maybe it's your thighs. See if you can kind of roll your wrists a little forward. Yeah. Maybe it even comes to the ground in front of you. Sweet. Cool. So never forcing anything. We're going to find our way to a standing forward fold. So you might roll over your feet or roll over your knees. Bring your feet a little bit wider than hip distance and slide your hands underneath your feet. So for most of us, that means we have to bend our knees a lot, gorilla pose or padahastasana, foot to hand. So palms face up, fingers come toward your heels, toes come toward your wrist crease. And then start to just rock a little bit forward, back, side to side. Use your body weight to massage out your hands, get into your wrists. Yeah, you might even sway from one foot and then to the other. If you're extra bony, it might feel a little crunchy. Awesome, slide your hands out. Gently step back to a tabletop position so knees can come down to your mat. Reach your right arm out and up to the sky. Take a big breath in. 
Then we'll thread to the left as you exhale. Draw your hand between your hand and your knee and drop all the way to your shoulder. Beautiful. Left hand can stay just where it is. Press down. You can reach out in front or you can even wrap around your back and create a little twist. Get more into your shoulder. Yeah. Imagine your hip bone moving away from your shoulder so your side stays long. That's it. Perfect. Breathe. And slowly unwind. Press down into your left hand. Reach your right arm out and up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, release it down to your mat. Switch side. Left arm up. Thread to your right. Exhale, drop all the way to your shoulder. Let your face come down. Right hand can stay. Stretch in front or wrap around. Make a little twist. That feels good. And gently pull your right hip away from your shoulder. So lots of space through your side. Yeah, keep breathing. Awesome, slowly unwind. Right hand next to your face, press down. Stretch your left arm up and up, breathe in. Out and up, breathe in. Exhale, release. We're gonna sit back, so you're sitting on your feet. If this is not comfortable on your ankles, you can always sit on a block. And then you're gonna slide your hands kind of between your thighs and your calves. I like palms facing up. You might even try palms facing down. And see if you can roll your shoulders down your back. So a little stretch here. Breathe. One more. Slowly release. Come to hands and knees. Tabletop again. We're gonna turn both hands if it's comfortable back. So fingertips point back, thumbs go out. Yeah, if it's too much with both, you can do one. And then you're just gonna play with rocking a little bit forward and back, maybe side to side, find some circles. If you're pretty flexible in your wrists, you might even take a down dog with your hands like this. And if your hands don't go all the way flat, you can always do it to the side so it's not quite as intense. Yeah, nice. Yeah, if that's a lot, feel free to do your fists. You got it, Rachel. Fingertips come back forward. And then this one can be quite a bit more intense. So feel free to do one hand and then the other, or both at the same time. You're just gonna flip your wrists up, kind of like you were doing on your Padahastasa, standing on your feet. If that feels okay, you can do both. Same thing, you can kind of rock a little forward and back. Or if one is enough, just kind of find a gentle little stretch. Elbow can totally stay bent, or you can straighten it out. And if you did one, do the other. Nice. We're going to release from here. This one's my favorite, so it's a little bit awkward to get into. Bring your knees a little bit closer to your wrists and bring them a little bit wider. So you're going to take your left forearm with your palm facing up right in front of your right knee. So just bend at your elbow and drop your forearm down. It's sort of like a half thread the needle. A lot of people will bring their entire arm down. That's make it, going to make it a little bit more complicated. Right knee is going to come onto your forearm and you're going to use your body weight to give yourself a little massage. So you might do some circles, work up toward your wrist. It might even feel good on your hand. When it feels like enough, you can just switch hands. So there's no need to stay here all day long. And you can always lean more, it's your weight, or lean less. Yeah, and then as you're ready, switch. Right form in front of your left knee, palm faces up. Try a little bitty massage here. Yeah. And when that's enough, release. Come back to a seat either on your butt or on your feet. And then take some wrist circles all the way up to the sky like a funny dance for turning light bulbs, and then all the way back down. Yeah, hands down, lift your shoulders to your ears, breathe in, exhale, roll them down your back. Two more times, inhale. One more. Almost like a little mini child's pose, as our mini Shavasana, so hands can crawl out in front. Knees together or wide, whatever feels good, relax your forehead. Feel free to wrap your hands toward your feet and that'll release through your shoulders. Or if you wanna try something different, palms together, you can bend at your elbows and bring your hands to the back of your head and kind of shimmy your elbows a little bit forward. So it's like a prayer hand. 
Nice. Let your body completely relax. Let your breath become light and natural again. And try and send your breath into your wrists, up through your forearms, to your elbows, upper arms, and to your shoulders. Gently walk your hands in. You can keep your eyes closed. Come to a seat. Palms together in front of your heart. Little breath in. Bow your head forward. Namaste as you breathe out. Namaste. All right. Good. Sweet. You know, if you might need any more rolls, take them.